Hey, what is up? And thanks for tuning in to another edition of the Horror Debate. I am Jeff Rowdy Jake here. He is Michael Mandy. And you know what? We are live. And this week we are debating <laughs> Satan's Little Helper from 2000. My kids have nothing to do with this. Yeah, I know. Okay, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> 2004. <laughs> Directed by Jeff Lieberman. I had nothing to do with it, Jeff I swear. Lieberman. Yeah. <laughs> uh, starring Amanda Plummer, who's the daughter of Christopher Plummer. All right. He was Captain Von Trapp in The Sound of Music, uh -huh. and he was the head Klingon guy in Star Trek VI. He was the dude with the eye patch that was bolted to his head. Mm -hmm. That was cool. And Amanda Plummer was with um, uh, the guy from Lie to Me. Um, his name just brain fart, Tim Roth. Okay. In Pulp Fiction. Is that the kid to David Lee Roth by any chance? No. No? Okay. Tim, okay. Check you, it. you remember Pulp Fiction? Yep. The movie opens up with the two people in yep. the restaurant. Mm hmm She is the chick in the restaurant. Okay. Yeah. Good. And, and Tim Roth is now on that show Lie to Me every yeah, Thursday yeah, yeah. night or whatever. That's a cool Well, show. let me... I got to tell you the story, Mike. Jesus. And this would have never come up. This movie would have never, ever come Christ, up. I thought this was going to be like a, a, a Christmas movie. Hold you know, on a Santa's second. Little help. This movie, you know what happened? What this happened? is what happened. You, I'm a, owe, you owe me an explanation. Uh, <laughs> I'm a very visual person, Mike. Now, I'm going through my Netflix on my Xbox, and I come across this poster of the wickedest looking dude I have seen in a while holding a sign that says Satan's Little Helper. It's not a sign, it's a pumpkin. Well, whatever. It looked like a sign. So I'm sitting there I'm going, dude, this guy looks wicked. Now, this movie is probably going to be so bad, so bad, <laughs> that I have to watch this movie. I expected this movie to be like Pumpkinhead, you know, that kind of bad, you know, with Lance oh, Henderson. Oh, yeah. This is worse. Well, no. I it's did, not, and I'm going to okay. tell you why. Okay, Pumpkinhead looked like a real movie. This looks like a... a, a Okay. Like a, a U, Yuli Lamel film. But listen to me. I laughed until my side hurt in this movie, okay? So that made it valid just for that. It was an old school type horror slash tongue in cheek weird comedy thing. Yes, it was a weird that, comedy. Tell me you did not laugh when that kid was standing out in front of that house and this fool is pulling them parents or those people out of the house and setting Dropping them out them on up. the. Setting them out on the porch like Halloween decorations. Yeah, tell me, that was cool. Tell me you did not laugh. Yes, was I cool. was hooked from that minute. Yeah. And and you know what? The, the greatest part about this film is that nobody knows that this dude is the killer. Right. Nobody knows. It, it, it's like walking around. He, this, this one chick, the, the, the cute blonde, she thinks that it's her boyfriend. Yeah, Catherine Winnick. She's on Bones. Check yeah. it out. Good show. But, oh, <laughs> the, the, all them bones. She's, she's got some nice bones. All them bones. Uh, but I'll tell you, the, <laughs> the funniest thing was her interacting with this guy who she thinks is her boyfriend, but it's really this freaking killer and dressed up in this, this outfit crazy with Halloween this outfit. wicked mask on. And, and then when he gets asked a question, he shakes his head like, no, 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 no. Yeah. You know, or, I, or like, you know, yeah, when the, she runs up the stairs, she's wearing this hot little uh, 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 Renaissance oh. hoe outfit. And, and, I love know, history. Yeah, and, and oh. so he, she runs up the stairs thinking it's her boyfriend. She can come upstairs, <laughs> and her little eight-year-old brother yeah. is at the bottom of the stairs, and so he runs up the stairs, turns, and gives the kid <laughs> thumbs up <laughs> and shakes that thumbs up. I'm yeah. laughing just thinking about it. I love this movie for oh, that. This kid, Alexander Brickle, <laughs> is a little kid, has got to be the most retarded <laughs> Annoying <laughs> child. Oscar. I believe they should drop the ban on killing children in horror movies. This kid should have been hey, slaughtered like hey, the dad. Hey, they dropped the ban. It's called trick or treat. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But I mean, seriously, this kid should have been splattered like that cat. Yeah. <laughs> Good stuff. That cat like, was cool. You know, you know, if you make Splat. me sit through stuff like Reanimator and stuff, you got to sit through yeah. this. I did sit through this, and I even said, geez, even Retard Dead had more redeeming. No, 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 no. This movie was You corny. missed the point. Yes, I know. The point of this was to be so corny and so outrageous. Yeah. 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 It, it, it's just like the, the what Mons turd. No, it, yes. it, it, it is definitely yes. above that quality. No, it's not. The acting in this was better. No, the, it wasn't. There was a cute chick in it. Yes, yeah, she was hot. There, there, the, the mask was wicked. Oh, the, it was it was ridiculous, but it was ridiculous in a funny way. Yeah. And I, I just I, I laughed so hard at the beginning. I said, I'm going to watch this all the way through no matter how much it hurts. 
I'm going to get to the yes, end of this I film. Yes, I watched it all the way through, and trust me, it was hurt. It was hurt. It was hurt. But I, it's endearing to me. No. <laughs> it endeared itself to me. And the budget is so low on this. This budget is so low. It shows the cops dead in the police <laughs> precinct. <laughs> Meanwhile, the boyfriend is saying, they burned the police precinct to the ground. Yeah, and I, yeah. I'm going, wait a second. Didn't the cops have the phone wrapped yeah. around their necks, yet you heard the phone ringing? Yeah, yeah. You know, this yeah. movie just... I don't care. Continuity and this logic is one you're going to have to excuse film. me on this one. You're going to have to excuse me because I, I I'm going to rate it because I had fun. I was watching this movie going, geez, normally it's me who makes him watch these crap films. <laughs> <laughs> but I had fun. This is an opposite. I, this, I turned this, this on. Anomaly. I, I watched this a couple of months ago. I turned this on on Halloween and I laughed my tail off. And that was exactly <laughs> what I was looking for. You know, I mean, I wasn't looking. I, I was looking for the worst possible looking horror movie. He on, found it on the Netflix queue, and there it was. I will safely say this is the worst horror movie on the I It endeared itself to me, dude. Oh, I, 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 I got to tell you, I'm going to share this one with everybody. I mean, okay, the guy, this little kid thinks that this dude is Satan. And he yeah. walks around, Master, what should we, you know? Uh -huh. And so he goes, you know, they send him to the store to buy Halloween candy. <laughs> so he's picking up meat. He was hammers. buying weapons. Yeah, he's he buying was buying <laughs> these giant turkey forks. You know these giant forks you pick up your turkey with? He's buying these. He's buying a knife or whatever. And they oh. go to the checkout stand. They put it all in the bags. And he just walks out. And the little kid goes, Satan doesn't need to pay. <laughs> And the cops roll up on him. And so then when they come running out of the store, the kid's in the shopping cart, and all of a sudden, oh, hey, look, there's a lady pushing a baby stroller. 50 points. Hit her. So he, bap. Look, there's a pregnant lady. 80 points. Bap. Look. Yes. I was just Mike, so it's everything you think about but are afraid yes. to say. That That's what this movie is, yes, man. It I, was a crazy film. It was a ride. And at the end, I was smiling. But they were doing a lot of stupid things. In oh, it yeah, Come yeah. On. Well, what horror movie don't they? Yeah. But, I mean, I mean yeah. Dude, look, let's, he, you know, I'm like, oh, where's mom? Gee, he's not in the basement where he's been yeah. hanging out most of the film. He must have gone to that party in the castle up on the hill. <laughs> what made you think about that? I don't know, but, yeah, they were right. Yeah, absolutely. And then the kid gets the crap beat out of him. Where does he go? To the girlfriend's house? Uh, the, your your kid brother is hanging out with this guy who beat the snot out of me? Yeah. No, he goes to his dad's house. Look. Why? Let me just say this. If, then, if you are looking for a lighthearted horror Crazy, weird romp. Cra that's a perfect example. Crazy, weird romp. If you are if you are looking for something that you're going to giggle at and that you're going to just shake your head at, smoke them if you got it before the movie. <laughs> Watch Satan's Little yes. Helper. I laughed. I wasn't even drunk. I laughed. I laughed some more. And then I shook my head going, why am I laughing? But it's like, it's so ridiculous. It's so out there. But yet it has this little bit of a, a coolness factor okay. to it. But then, explain the ending. Oh, to hell with the ending. Exactly. After I just said it and went, that's the ending you're giving me after yeah. I endured that whole thing? After that's the, the ending? After that ride me? you took. You know, yeah, I took the ride and I, I felt ripped off by that ending. <laughs> I was very upset at that end. Well, we're not going to give it away, but no, but you, just finish but you know your what? damn movie. You know what? You know what, though? I'm going to give it two. I'm going to give it two stars and I'm, because I'm I had a good time. I'm surprised you rated it that it's low. It's not a two-star movie. No. But it is two stars worth the fun. No, let me let me go go back. It's not a two-star movie. It's four stars worth the fun. <laughs> but if you if you average if you average it out, you're gonna get about two stars. It's, it's a zero, but <laughs> four stars worth of fun. Four stars worth of fun. I got a kick out of this film, man. I'm glad you enjoy. Two stars, uh, which is crazy because usually I'm the one who enjoys crap like. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know what it. You know what? You know what? No, seriously. After watching this film, the one thing. Yeah. Okay, obviously this is a low budget film. Oh sure. I mean, come on. When they said. The, the helicopter is going to rescue them. All it was was a giant flashlight. Right. <laughs> Seriously, it was just a, a high... Uh, the guys stood on the roof of the, filming the actors on the lawn, and they just shined a big flashlight on them. Uh -huh. That was their helicopter. Yeah. yeah. I mean, so obviously the budget was zero on this film. Right. But the music was cool. Yeah. 
I was watching this going, this is actually cool music, yeah. and it's it, it, it's hitting all the right spots, it's got the right orchestration, and our, this is better, this music is better than the movie deserved. No, it, it, this movie had a vibe, I'm telling you, I don't know what it was that endeared itself to me, Mike. I, I, I it think was that low-cut dress, it was her well, that grabbing their own boobs. That on. endeared itself to me, but I can say this. Oh, that mom was nuts. I, I can say this. Between the mask and the personality of the guy acting behind the mask, I, I mean, it was just comical. It was funny, dude. Dude was in the store. He was in the store buying weapons at the Halloween store, okay? I mean, it was freaking store. hilarious. Yeah, and, and then to, to, uh, to scare the women, what does he pull out? A ravioli knife. Yeah. <laughs> And now, if those of you who don't know what a ravioli knife is, it's kind of like a pizza roller, you know, the little circle on the handle for the pizza, uh -huh. but it's got a little serrated edge on a second one to make the little jagged things on the edges of your ravioli. Yeah, yeah. This thing is like three inches long, yeah. and he's holding it up, and they're going, ah, frightened as shit. Uh, oh, man. All I can say is that we can only hope that there is a Satan's little helper, too. Oh, God. Because we will watch that one uh, together. We. W <laughs> I, I got a kick out of it. I can't lie to you. That, Two stars, that kid baby. Was so retarded. <laughs> oh, the funniest, the funniest line. Was, you know, oh Satan. You know, and when he finds out that he really wasn't Satan, and so Satan, the, the, this guy switches a costume in, in mid, you know, two thirds of the movie in. Mm -hmm. To, to, to false, you know, let him think they really killed him, but really they killed someone he killed earlier. And the costume he gets is Jesus. Yeah. That's and right. so when they find out, like, the little kid goes, Satan is Jesus? <laughs> Watch this with your religious mother. This is crazy. One star. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I, but the music was cool. Yeah. The, whoever did the music, you should do more. I yeah. liked it. All right. I dug the whole thing. I'll, I'm going to watch it again tomorrow. You know, I love crazy zany stuff, but this kind of went one foot into, into beyond camp. Yeah. <laughs> so. I'm Michael Manny. He's Rowdy Jeff. We'll talk to you next week at the Horror Debate. <laughs> Usually it's me. No. No, not this time.